Well, I'm back in my room. Uh, I kept getting interrupted on the porch, so I had to come back up here. And then I got interrupted again. So I'm going to try to get this out, you know, before everyone comes back to the house. So I'm going to talk about checking in and I guess a little bit about Pub Century and then like what I like to do on my first day. This Pop Century, first of all, it's a value resort. It's one of the cheapest of the resorts on the property. I think it's the nicest of the value resort, but that might change because there's a new value resort and it's called Art of Animation. It just opened. I know that the single rooms aren't even open yet, um, but they have family suites which hold up to like six people or something like that. So that's really nice. Um, I think we might try to stay there in January, but since we can't book until we know my husband's schedule and also my brother-in-law's schedule, it's kind of hard. So we might not even be able to get in there because I'm sure it's going to be packed. But back to Pop Century. Um, like I said, I find it better than the music and movie. I guess they're called the All-Star Resorts. Um, the all-star movies, all-star music, all-star sports. I've never been there, but well, I've seen them. I haven't stayed there. I should say that. And I like pop century a lot better. And I'll tell you why I've mentioned in a couple, I think it was like one of my first videos that I really like the decor of pop century you walk in and there it's just bright and they're um, playing 60s and 70s, 80s, and I think 90s music. And it's really cool. Um, I like staying in the 60s building. The I should explain first. The buildings are split up into decades. So there's 50s and then there's 60s building and then there's the 70s building, the 80s building, and the 90s building. Each building's... Um, have their own pool and the pool is designed to um, go with the decade like I love staying in the 60s part there's tie-dye everywhere um, there are like figurines dancing on the side of the building and the pool is called the hippy dippy pool and it's shaped in um, a huge flower and I just I love it so much I don't I don't know why I love the 60s and um, they play the Beatles all the time, which is my all-time, you know, favorite band. And I just love it. It's so nostalgic and awesome. And I know that they they dance sometimes to, like, Thriller and, um, you know, the cast members do. I just, it's so much fun. And it's um, cheaper. So, hi, baby. <laughs> okay. Come on. Mommy's filming. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, so it's cheaper and I just, when you have kids, I don't, but the things to look at is unreal. I mean, not it pops in, not at pop century, just at pop century, but all of the value resorts, there's huge statues of, um, characters from their favorite mu movies. There's, you know, all kinds of stuff to look at. So they, I think I mentioned Pop Century has their own bus line. Um, bless you. So they don't pick up anyone else, which is really nice. You don't have to go to a bunch of bus stops. Um, the food court is really neat because they have a specialty. Well, now I guess they have two specialties. There's one new I haven't tried. But the one that I love is the tie-dye cheesecake. It's just regular cheesecake. I think it has a um, red velvet bottom, but I always don't. I don't eat that part because I don't like it. But I don't like red velvet cake. It's not the cake itself. It's just me. <laughs> um, the cheesecake itself is tie dye. It's awesome, and it leaves your mouth cool colors. And I just think it's fun. So the other, the new specialty they have, I guess, is called like the King Cupcake or something like that. And I'm a huge Elvis fan also. I have a cat named Elvis. And it's like a, I guess it's a peanut butter cupcake. It might be a chocolate cupcake. I'm not sure. I probably should have looked at that before. I, but anyways, it has chocolate and peanut butter and banana. And I 
and bacon. And I don't think it's chocolate. I think it's just peanut butter and banana and it has bacon. So I, I don't know. I'm going to try it. We'll see in October. I hope they have it because I know that they'll have, um, Halloween specialty. So hopefully they'll still have the King cupcake or whatever it's called. So anyways, um, I think like the other pools, I know that there's a computer shaped pool and they have like cell phones, like the old brick cell phone. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked around pop that much. Last time we were there, I was curious to see what was going to be the new art of animation building because it's connected to pop through, uh, um, like a bridge kind of that you can walk across because originally art of animation was going to be an added on part of pop century, like the higher up dick, you know, higher up years. So, um, it's connected, but art, anim art of animation is really cool too, from what I've seen of it. Um, what else? Okay. So, I guess, Lucy, stop. Luce. Lucy. Sorry, I'll probably have to edit that out. Luce. All right. Um, when you get to Pop Century, we get dropped off by Magical Express. When you check in, you'll have to have your ID, your like driver's license, um, and they'll look up your reservation. And we put a credit card on file for any damages or whatever. You get your key to the world card, which is your has your dining plan on it if you get it. It's also your room key. So you can make this card a charging card, which will charge to your room. And so if you go out and buy whatever, you could just use your key to the world card so that way you're not carrying around credit cards, cash, whatever, to pay for things. Which is kind of nice, but if you're not paying attention you can really overspend. It's kind of like on cruises where you just get the charging card and you just charge drinks here and go gambling or whatever. And then when you get your bill at the end, it's like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that I was spending that much because you're not physically, hand you know what I mean? So it can be a little dangerous, especially if you have kids. I would not recommend giving them any charging privileges because um, they obviously don't understand. So... Um, but if you're an adult, I, you know, whatever. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, they'll explain to you, you know, where your room is. And I think last time we were there, we got to choose between three locations. I had a preferred room in the 60s building. Our room was awesome. It was right against the pool. But the only thing that's a problem with that. If you have kids, it's great, I'm sure, because you can go to the pool. It's so close to the food court. The 60s building is right next to the food court, the gift shops, the bus stops. You can't get any closer. Um, so the pool, the hippy-dippy pool, I don't know about the other pools, but it's loud. It's open till midnight, I think. And when you come back from the parks, you're pooped. I mean, you just want to go to sleep. So hearing kids screaming and stuff, it's not that great, but... They play games around the pool, which seem to be really fun for kids. Uh, there was a hula hoop contest, and this little girl literally hula hooped around the pool nonstop for, I think, they had to stop her. It was a contest. She went for a long time, like 20 minutes, and they stopped her finally. She was just this little teeny tiny girl. I was pretty impressed and jealous, actually, but... um. There's also a pool bar right next to the pool. Um, they have really good drinks. We hung out there a couple nights for a little while last trip. So I, they're all themed around the 60s, you know. Uh, the food court, it's your typical Disney food. Um, they have chicken nuggets. French fries, hamburgers, hot dogs. Um, I don't know what else. Salads, I think. There, I, there was like generic salad, like nothing special. Um, this is all like made to order food. And then they had this chicken Alfredo. It's like a piece of chicken, um, like fried chicken. 
kind of. And um, these noodles with Alfredo sauce, it's delicious. But I can only imagine how many cow. But anyways, <laughs> it's so good. It's ridiculously good. And I don't know why, but it is. And uh, what else do they have? They have like specialty stuff. I didn't, I'm a picky eater, so I didn't eat any of it. I know like certain nights they'll have um, certain things like meatloaf or fried chicken or, you know, homemade stuff that you would have eaten that your mom would have made you in the 60s and 50s and, you know, that kind of stuff. She's going to climb over me. <laughs> um, so that's kind of neat. Uh, what else do they have? Oh, um, and mo you know, just like any other Disney resort, they have coolers, um, of alcohol and high, and then they have like, um, desserts and bottles of pop, juice, milk, um, all of that stuff. Um, when you get the Disney dining plan, you also get a mug, like a try. it has a handle on it. And you have unlimited access to the um, pop machines. They also have hot chocolate, coffee, no milk though, and tea. Um, cold and hot tea. And you get unlimited access to that at just at the resort, not in the parks. Um, which, I don't know. We filled our mugs up a couple times, but... It was like right before bed and I never ended up, I felt like I was wasting it more than, you know, if you buy the cup outside of the Disney dining plan, I think it's around like $16. It's a little ridiculous. If you don't have the plan, I wouldn't even recommend getting it. Well, I take that back. With the plan, I didn't feel like I needed it because you get a drink with every, like a bottled drink with every meal. So you really don't need the cup. When you're at the park all day, I guess, I don't know. I just, I felt like I was wasteful. I didn't really like it. And it was always sticky because I'd leave pop in it overnight because I'd fall asleep and or tea. I don't know. So I guess it's a personal preference. Pre uh, preference. You get to take the mug home, but we haven't used them because we use Tervis cups. So I don't know. Teach their own, but. I didn't like them that much. I guess you could take them to the park and fill them up with water. But they probably spill everywhere. They have a lid, but it's not very good. Um, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Wow, that was bad. But I do recommend Pop Century. I think it's great. I know a lot of people rave about it. It's they say it's the best value resort, but that was before Art of Animation, which is still really new. So I don't think anyone really, you know, can say that yet about Art of Animation. But if you know, it's just fun. You walk in and it takes you back. I mean, I'm only twenty five, so I don't really know what back is except for the nineties, but I think it's cool. They play music all the time. They dance, like I said. But um, I guess I'll have to go. I forgot to mention a few things about checking in. You can leave your carry-on luggage with the bellhop. They'll put it in your room. Your room will, is not guaranteed to be ready until 3 p.m. or later. Uh, but like I said, you can leave your stuff and then go to the parks or go to downtown Disney or do whatever you want. Uh, they can possibly have a room ready for you. It just depends. But always plan for not having a room ready until 3 p.m. Don't plan on getting your luggage until like 4 or 5. Sometimes 3, but you know. They will ask you if they want you or if you want them to call you or text you when your room's ready, which I highly recommend. We got a text message and it just said our room was ready and what room number it was. And you just go to your room. So that's kind of neat. Um, we fell last time we, when we got a room, we went back and fell asleep and then got woken up by our luggage coming. So um, I 
want to say it was an hour later. An hour or two later. But last time we went, we got there really early, like at 10 o'clock in the morning. And went to downtown Disney, which was kind of a mistake. And then, um, it's kind of a night place. I mean, it's more livelier at night. There was hardly anyone there. I wish we would have just went to a park. It probably would have woke us up, you know, from traveling. My husband was really tired, too. So, we just wanted to sleep after going to downtown Disney because it was kind of boring. But... We went back at an, another night, and it's not boring at night, so I highly recommend going at night and just hitting a park when you get there. Explore the hotel that you're staying at, and then go to a park. I recommend the Magical Kingdom first because it really, you know, sets your vacation. I always like to tell people to start with Magic Kingdom and end with the Magic Kingdom because nothing says Disney like Cinderella's Castle. And, you know, the nostalgic ride, so. But that's it. I think about, I think for Pop Century, uh, I really can't think of anything else to tell you. Um, I guess I could, could say some stuff about the uh, Disney buses real quick. Uh, I don't mind them. I know some people don't like them because it's, you know, they're kids at night. It's really terrible. People pack on there. Kids are screaming, they're tired, they're hungry, whatever. And parents are cranky. But I figure I don't have to drive. I don't have to worry about where I'm going. I don't have to worry about getting into a wreck. Stuff like that. They come every 15 minutes, if not before that. Um, I know one time, um, I think a Magic Kingdom bus pulled up and it filled up. And then another one came like right after it, so... You don't ever have to really wait. We did wait at Downtown Disney that morning that I just talked about forever because they probably figured no one was there. So, But yeah, I recommend them. They get you excited. You know, the bu actually the buses play the music to whatever park you're going to. So like um, to the Magic Kingdom, for instance, they'll play like zippity doo dah or whatever play all that music, um, to Epcot, they'll play different music, um, to Animal Kingdom, it's more like, um, African music, and then, where else, Hollywood Studios is like, um, like, I know they play the Star Wars theme, and stuff like that, so, it's pretty cool, I like it, so, whatever, to each their own, some people like to rent a car, I don't, although we are renting one to go to Universal, but that's a different story. So I think that's it um, for Pop Century and checking in. Um, if you're ever just wondering about a resort, you can always just go visit them, like for a next trip. Go visit them. Go visit all of them. See which one you like, and it'll help you decide on your next trip. So thanks for watching.